On this episode of Behind the Sanctuary, we're actually at Bristol Zoo and we're going to be rehoming their two Asiatic lions and bringing them home to the Big Cat Sanctuary. So we're just about to be let into Bristol Zoo. The keeping team here have been crate training the lions for the move for a long time. They've been doing lots of preparation. The reason that we crate train instead of anaesthetise them to get them into the crate is because it's much nicer for the lions and it allows them to avoid an anaesthetic, which can be risky, but it also allows them to become comfortable with the crate so it makes the, the whole transport a little bit less stressful for them. Now during the training sessions, what you really, really have to do is mimic as much as possible what is going to happen on the day. So if you know you're going to be moving vans around, if you know you're going to have certain people there, you want them there during the training sessions so you don't change lots of things on the day and put the animals off from doing their, their training. We haven't been there during training sessions and so we're not going to go in in case it distracts the lions and stops them from going in the crates today. It's really important that they go in today. So in readiness for the team leaving for Bristol Zoo to collect Sonika and Sahi, we're going to be moving Kasanga from the enclosure next to our lodges adjoining Heritage Lodge over to the middle of site where he's going to meet his new neighbour Imara the White Lioness. We're about to move the crate in. We've got lots of team members on hand to help with lifting because it's quite a heavy crate and add a 215 kilo lion inside, we're going to need lifters. So he's all moved in, he's been unloaded, he's in the den and we've just kind of left him to settle for a little bit of time before we let him out later. Imara, his new next door neighbour, I don't think she's even realised that there's somebody next door. She was busy tucking away into her meal as we were loading the box in, but there was a lot of interest from Neuron, Kira and Inca, their Jaguar neighbours, they were all being very nosy and watching. Now it's a really exciting time for us to welcome Sanika and Sahi. Kasanga has actually moved into the center of the sanctuary next to his new neighbor, Imara, which has opened up a beautiful spot for Sanika and Sahi right by Heritage Lodge. It's so exciting to be able to welcome Asiatic lions to the Big Cat Sanctuary. We've never held this subspecies before. This is an Asian subspecies of lion. It's the only lion to exist outside of Africa. And there's about 600 of these guys left in the wild. They come from the Gear Forest in India and they're an endangered subspecies, so it's so exciting to be able to welcome them. We've been chatting to their keepers, and we've been told that these guys are really partial to some lavender and perfumes, and also cardboard boxes. So if you would like to buy them a welcome gift, we will be adding those items to our Amazon wish list. We're just at the lion habitats, and the lions have now been crated, and all we need to do now is just lift them into the vans, and they'll be on their way very soon to their new home at the sanctuary. So the team just behind me, and they're just wheeling the crate over to the van to load him up. All they need to do is lift Sahi in. He is the Asiatic lion male as well. So they're just gonna uh, lift him in. Should probably give him a hand. That is one lion loaded and one to go. Sonika just behind me has just been lifted into the van and she's going to be on her way very soon to the sanctuary and she's going to be joined there with her partner, Sahi. So with a little bit of teamwork, we've managed to manhandle the crates into the back of both of our vans and they're all loaded up, they're hitched up and they're ready to go. So we're going to make a start on the very long journey back to the Big Cat Sanctuary.
We've safely arrived at the sanctuary. The team are behind us and we're ready to unload the crates and get the lions into their new habitat. I think I should probably go give them a hand. is safe and secure right against the house and hopefully Sahi will go straight in as you can see the team are just ready to lift the door it's a bit tense we're hoping it goes really smooth and he's just going to go straight into the house and settle down and be calm one down one to go he's straight into the house and now we're going to leave him be and he can relax and settle now it's time for line number two. Sonika is just in the back there. We're going to unload her and put her into her house as well. Now it's time for Sonika. Her crate is safe and secure up against the house and hopefully she'll go straight in just like Sahi as well. Sneaker is very calm, so calm in fact that she's actually decided just to stay in her crate, which isn't a problem because what we're going to do is we're going to leave her be and she's going to move out of the crate into her house in her own time. For now, it's literally just a waiting game. So there you have it, two lions successfully moved into a new habitat here at the sanctuary. And what a day it is. We're incredibly proud to have two Asiatic lions for the first time ever in our history here at the Big Cat Sanctuary. We're just about to let the lions out for the first time. We're going to start with uh, Sahi, let him get comfortable, let him out, see what he does, monitor him for a bit, and then we'll move on to Sonika and we'll let her out as well. I'm so impressed and like really relieved with these guys. So Sahi came straight out, pretty confident in the enclosure. He did then pop back in for a little while, but not for long at all. And then he came out, we saw loads of relaxed behaviors, lots of rolling around, lots of scent marking, kind of rolling about and playing with his toes and all sorts of really, really nice relaxed behaviors. He's really making the place his own. So he's explored loads of it. We did let her out. We did give her access, but she's nowhere near as confident as Sahi is. So she sort of came to the doorway, had a look out, took it all in, but has chosen to stay in bed all day today. But that's fine. So these guys have done incredibly well. We're gonna let them uh, settle in over the next few days and also we'll be with them while they do that. So we'll monitor them very carefully. I hope to see lots more relaxed behaviors for him. Um, and also for her, I hope to see her kind of coming out a little bit more, um, spending more and more time outside as she settles and relaxes into her new home. So these guys have been here a full week now. Um, we're so, so happy with them. Sonika's really come out of her shell, so she's spending a lot of time outside as well. Um, both of them have uh, introduced themselves to the lions next door with Kasanga and Amara, so they're well aware that each other are there. These guys have adapted incredibly well to completely new surroundings. So new keepers, new faces, new smells, new enclosure, new absolutely everything. They've done incredibly well. They've even seen some snow and saw he was sitting out in it. So he seemed to really enjoy that. They've been showing off beautifully for our lodge guests as well, which we couldn't have hoped for any better. So we're so, so happy with how they're doing. Thank you for watching Behind the Sanctuary. We will see you next time.
Mm-hmm.